Ah, oh. I have to click that thing. Me too. Okay. <laughs> Well, hi, I'm Amanda from uh, Guide for Geek Moms. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to talk all about the sea beast, right? That's right. That's <laughs> right. Excited. If you can, you know, just start by introducing yourself and maybe giving us a little background of your animation, you know, resume. Sure, of course. Uh, uh -huh. My name is Zach Parrish. Uh, I was the animation director on the Sea Beast uh, prior to this film. Um, I worked in visual effects for a little bit, and then I worked at um, Walt Disney Animation Studios for about 11 and a half years. Uh, I was the head of animation on Big Hero 6 with Chris Williams, who's the director of this film. Uh, and then I also directed a few shorts uh, at, at Disney as well, one being called Puddles and the other being called Us Again, which was attached to Raya and the Last Dragon last year. Yes, and I was going to mention that the us again because I love that one, and I was even on the press day for that, so oh, I awesome. got to learn. And oh, well, that's you. one thing I wanted to ask too. Was like you worked for Disney for so long. How's the transition been now to moving into Netflix and doing animation now? It's been great. I mean, I think wow. I think everyone's trying to tell great stories, and yeah. and you know when Chris Chris called me and asked if I would if I would join him on this film. Um, I was over the moon. I was so excited. You know, I got to work with them on, on Big Hero 6, obviously very closely. I worked in Moana. Um, and so we've had a great relationship for a long time. The movie sounded incredible. Uh, Netflix was, was incredibly welcoming and the people at Imageworks were incredibly welcoming. And so they made the transition very easily, very easy for me, even though I was, uh, I think I started this film when I was month two of my paternity leave. Um, and so you all know how crazy that time is. Uh, and so I was deliriously tired, uh, but they still made it very, very accommodating for me. Oh, that's neat. Oh, and a new little baby. How exciting. That's right. Yeah, she's 14 months today. Oh, uh, well, so what drew you, though, to actually doing this film? I mean, other than, you know, just getting a call and asking to be on it. But. Yeah, it was it was really the promise of the story, uh -huh. um, the the scale of the film. I loved that Chris was going for he wanted her to do something that was a little bit different, that was a little bit more had a little more of a mature voice to it that mm -hmm. um, that wasn't, you know, it wasn't jokes. It was was, it was a it was really it was filmmaking you know in its highest in its highest sense um and and the characters were compelling the world was compelling the sense of scale the action kind of everything spoke to me i often say that for me animation is like playing with action figures when i was a kid and this one offered up such an amazing assortment of of toys to play with effectively yeah. um and uh and so i yeah i couldn't i couldn't say no yeah. So during the, the earlier press day today, we heard so much about ropes, <laughs> so much about ropes. Sorry about that. We all talked afterwards. We we're like, I think we talked about ropes. too much. <laughs> but it was interesting and like the water stuff, too. And it, it made me think of I was just talking to my husband. I know the new movie, um, the new Avatar is coming out. Right. Yep. And so he was telling me that he read something about you know, it's taken so long because, you know, they were waiting for actually the technology, you know, especially because most of it's done underwater. And this is the same. This one is so done so much underwater, too. So you can talk a little about, you know, the technology used for the water and and even, you know, if this is newer technology, if this is something you couldn't have done maybe even five years ago. Sure. Yeah. I mean, it really it's um, it's a combination of a lot of things, right? Like, Sony Imageworks is so good at water. Uh, they have been doing water for a very long time and they're, they're one of the best at it. And so I was amazed coming into it on the Netflix side that they didn't blink at all of the water. That was one of the easier things. I think that's why we ended up talking about ropes so much is because they become such experts at being able to put things on water or in water and, and executing the water part that, you know, oftentimes, you know, we would talk about like, well, should we maybe move the camera so you don't see the water? And they were like, no, it's fine. Like, we got, we got it. Um, and, and that was really liberating from a storytelling standpoint is, is it was, it was just about what the characters are going through. What's the best way to communicate this moment in the film, in the story and, and not have to worry about those things. And the same thing with the, with all the ropes, even though we keep talking about ropes, I think, I, I think I made a bet that I could make it through without saying ropes. And here I am. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm that, sorry for making you lose your bet. <laughs> uh, it's it is it is such a complicated piece. Um, 
but uh, but again, they they kind of figured out a way of rigging it, a way of simulating, and a way of interacting with it. And for a workflow, that it really came down to what does the rope need to do. We didn't have to worry about how are we going to make the rope do that. Yeah. It was just what is the right thing for the scene. And so, um, uh, yeah, all props to, to Sony Image Works for for kind of making that seem uh, effortless, even though it was an insane amount of work to get to that point. Well, that is neat because that is one thing I wondered. I mean, you have the back, you have puddles, you know, yeah. with the water. You know, us again had the whole water scene. So I was, <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of a know? one trick pony, aren't I? You are. Well, not that, <laughs> but I'm just saying you're, you should be an expert now in the water. And <laughs> yeah, I know, I know how hard it is. So I, you know, another hat off to, to the technology team who made it work. Yeah. Well, now for the nitty gritty stuff that I personally want to know is, can you share any like little Easter eggs in this? You know, everybody wants to hear about some Easter eggs done. And that's, I know it's a Disney, sometimes a Disney thing, but <laughs> other movies do it too. Oh. You okay? <laughs> oh yeah, my my computer went weird. I don't know. <laughs> um, for this film, I can, honestly, I don't know if I can think of any. Uh, hmm. There were a couple moments uh, where things were kind of like thrown out of bags and things like that, uh -huh. um, that were, you know, the animator thought it might be fun. It was like a prop that was taken from here or there, but, um, but no, not, not too much. Everything was very like specifically designed. Um, Chris, Chris has such a clear vision and such a clear idea as to what he wants. Um, and, and he is such a good storyteller that everything has to make sense from a story standpoint. Oftentimes, okay. you know, the, the Easter eggs are like, eh, well, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> story for a moment. This is kind of funny. Um, you know, his, his vision was very like everything had to make sense because everything was part of the story. And so, uh, everything was very artfully directed and, uh, and, and, and that's actually really, it's really amazing that, that they were that, that clear and that specific on everything. And something probably different for you because you're probably like, oh yeah, we got to fit this Easter egg in it. This well, one. I love, this I one. love the Easter eggs. I was the Easter egg, you know, <laughs> champ. I, you know, us again. I think there's probably like, you know, 20 different Disney Easter eggs yeah. in that short film. So yeah. I loved that stuff. Uh -huh. uh, but uh, but yeah, no, this one this one really wanted to be its its own its own thing. Well, since we didn't get any Easter eggs, how about just a fun fact you can tell us about it? So just something. Oh my goodness! Uh, uh, I have you. I have you really thinking today. First, break yeah, your seriously. <laughs> um, gosh, there are about five thousand ropes on the show. <laughs> there were uh, six hundred and sixty-five artists. There were one hundred and eighty animators. Um, there is a scene in the movie where I couldn't give you the exact number, neither could the person who did the shot, but I know the character count is over 10,000 characters that were hand placed by an artist. Um, there, there is an incredible amount of characters and incredible amount of depth. Uh, to this film and and Imageworks has a has a really sophisticated tool set to be able to uh, art direct that and to really like hand place all of that and so there's an incredible amount of detail that is all hand done which is really cool. Wow, yeah, that, that sounds complicated, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> and was all this done then still under pandemic conditions, like at home, at, you're doing but, everything through Zoom. Yeah, the whole the whole thing. I actually I joined a little later in the process. And so by the time uh -huh. I joined, it was full pandemic. Um, and I have only met maybe two artists from Sony of those 665 in person. Uh, everyone else I've met, I've interacted with in, in this way. And so someday, uh -huh. you know, we will all get together. We'll watch the movie and, and hopefully share the same air. Um, but, uh, <laughs> but they, you know, again, hats off to Sony in that regard too, because they had the infrastructure kind of already built for that. So when, when they needed to transition from the work from home, that's kind of how they were already working. And so they had the tools and everything built for that. And so it was very easy for us to collaborate in this way. And we were all astounded when we finally saw stuff on the big screen, we were like, oh, this looks great. Like there was no yeah. loss in translation. And so we were really excited that it was, it was easy. It was fun and it actually looks fantastic it's definitely impressive i mean i got to see 40 minutes of it and i was like no give me more <laughs> so i <laughs> yeah they kind of left you a little bit of a tease there in the way they showed <laughs> and i up. got my warning but so yes <laughs> <laughs>
was like, not, that wasn't nice. That wasn't nice. <laughs> well, thank you though for taking the time and chatting with me today. They're telling me though I have to go. <laughs> so okay. It was, okay. Well, it was great chatting with you. you. Thank you for taking the time. And, yep. Thanks. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye.